Just a quick disclaimer here, this is a photosensitivity warning as the image states. The music video in which I am reacting to today has a lot of flash and lights, so if you do have photosensitivity and can have a seizure be brought upon by such items as flashing lights, you have been warned, okay? This is not for me, you. My apologies, but you can always just turn the video off and go watch something that you more thoroughly enjoy that won't cause you to have a seizure. My apologies again, but this is a photosensitivity warning. You have been warned. Hello, 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 and welcome to this reaction video in which I am reacting to another YouTube recommendation here, which it is, as you saw uh, via the title, A Crowd of Rebellion Recreate of the Reedy Red. I'm not sure if we dreamed somebody whose name I can't currently, uh, I should just Google it. Translate. Let's see. Let's see if Google Translate translate it correctly. It is Google Translate. Let's see. Featuring whom? It's in Korean right now, so change of Japanese. Featuring Hushikuma Minami. Hope I'm saying your name correctly. I don't know. Again, it's Google Translate, so. Yeah, but uh, this is the uh, reaction I'm doing today, one of, that is, today being the uh, 8th of February. But yes, it was a recommendation. I know nothing of this group, just like I knew nothing of Passcode or any other group that I've really reacted to via recommendations here or will be doing. Cause there are a couple more that I have found. But yeah, so let's ch I'll check them out, see what I think of them. I only heard like a quick snippet of the beginning here because it, you know, it auto plays and I don't know how to ever turn that thing off no matter where it says to click to turn it off uh, but whatever let's check them out it actually says it in English there in the title okay I gotta put a uh, photosynthesis warning in the beginning Okay, this is waking me up, dude. Ooh. So we got three vocalists here. And I only see a drummer and guitarist. No bassists or anything. Or maybe they just don't like being featured in the videos. It happens. There's even ours here in uh, America, the bases and stuff, I don't get shown because they just don't want to be. They don't want the fame, they just want to be uh, able to walk around a crowd without being known. They just want their privacy and you know, gotta respect it. I know I'm gonna love what I'm watching here. <laughs> Such an interesting music video is too, like two ballet dancers fighting in some weird way. Dance slash fight off? <laughs> this is interesting. Sorry, it's just, you know, I'm just, you know, my mental instability, I guess. You know how to react in some situations sometimes. Ooh. So, I went for a circle here. Yeah, we start off. Ooh. 
I love the focal range between the three focalists there, dude. Like one, like one kind of like really collapsed well between the two, like the one in the white and the gentleman. You have that lady in the black who really focal range is really flow. It really feels good between the two different aspects of the other two vocalists. They all just around just sound so well together. This overall is a good song, dude. It's, ooh. Ballet dancers unfortunately took each other's life. And it's over unfortunate credits. No credits. Oh, whoo, that was an interesting song, dude. To listen to this. Like I said, that was my first reaction ever to this group. And whoo, I'm definitely going to check out their library. To, you know, go through uh, probably a few reactions of them on their other songs. And I think I'm ready to see what it, like, when did this come out? Let me see. When did this song come out? Because it was, like, not too long ago. Excuse me. January the 11th of this year. January 11th. Ooh. So it's barely been a month since this song's been out. And <laughs> I keep putting it down because I want the brightness off me. Uh, Only 88,000? Only 88,000 views on this, dude. That seems wrong you know with a song like that dude that should be up there dude seriously I, you know it's just it's like odd how, even though i know i was kind of like this way when i was younger especially in my 20s and early teens you know it's like you don't want to really experiment and just try different music to the type that you usually listen to but i feel like we need to stop doing that and stop sleeping on songs you do just because they're not you know your usual taste not to mention i think it's also the aspects because i still kind of have this mindset of uh like you want to enjoy the music you just want to enjoy your time on what you're listening to you know or watching be it movies shows games music you know you don't want your time wasted and some people just like i said i still kind of have this mentality but you don't want to get into something in case it's just not your taste you know you don't enjoy it you know nothing against stuff that you don't enjoy you know it happens, you know, I've reacted to like a few things that weren't my taste, but you know, I'm not going to show those artists or anyone who enjoys them any hate because th what's the point, you know, it's idiotic. It just is. I had that mindset though growing up, but I think that's a mindset we need to squash and just get rid of that, you know, just because you inherently don't enjoy something, you have the right to hate it because it's not a right, it's a choice. You're not, you're not having the right to hate on something that you don't enjoy I mean, seriously, like, I don't enjoy eating fish. Do I have the right to hate on fish? Fishermen, people who enjoy fish, people who sell fish? No. How idiotic would I look? That's how idiotic the aspects of people hating on anything in entertainment is. It's a fact. Because, again, it, just like with food or drink, entertainment is an aspect's preferred taste. And you're not going to enjoy everything, but do you have the right to hate it? No. Just like, I don't have the right to hate on... People who enjoy fish, you don't have the right to hate on me for enjoying what I enjoy, or no, or do I on you, or any aspects of that, you know? I think that's a kind of a mentality that we've allowed to kind of happen, but it's grown so out of control. We need to seriously squash that kind of mentality. Because, again, it's not a right. Hate, you know, hating on anything outside of, you know, certain things, you know, like hating on murderers, rapists, people who steal from people who need what they sow from them, you know? That kind of stuff, you know? That's understandable. Those, you know, people deserve the hate, you know? Not death threats, maybe, outside of, you know, some of the aspects of where it all, especially, you know, situation of how it happened. But, you know, overall, hate, you know, is just, it. it's... We've allowed it to grow out of the way in which it should be used, you know, as an emotion. Hate should only go to, like I said, those in which truly deserve it. Just because you don't enjoy some person's music doesn't mean you have the right to hate them. I know I was getting out on a tangent there, but... You know, and you're wondering, like, so you don't enjoy that? No, I enjoy that song. I enjoy that song thoroughly. I did. I am definitely adding that to my Spotify playlist. <laughs> Gotta go back to see. Yeah, uh, A Crowd of Rebellion... 
uh, I'm assuming that's the name of the song. Yeah, Recreate of the Red. I'm not sure if it's like Recreate of the Red or Recreate of the uh, Re D or I'm not sure how that would be pronounced. I'm just, you know, an American idiot here who just mostly, all I do is just listen to the music, you know, listen to the music, react here and there. So the spelling of things is what I just see and it's, I don't know the overall pronunciation so if i pronounce things wrong that's why you know i'm a lazy mentally challenged idiot but yeah i did enjoy that song quite thoroughly i enjoyed it and i hope you did too i'm definitely gonna you know like i said add that to my spotify playlist but overall i hope you were entertained and informed and as always i hope you have a rock'em sock'em day peace <laughs>